Hamish Hartlett made his long-awaited AFL return after a knee reconstruction against Frio in Perth in round 13. And both Sam Powell Pepper and Carl Amon celebrated their 50th AFL games. Kane Farrell booted a career-high four goals. Handball it away. Farrell will run into the open goal. He kicks his fourth. But despite us holding a one-point lead at the last change, a goalless last quarter saw the Dockers run away with a 21-point win. After more than a month away, we returned home to take on top of the table Geelong in Ken Hinckley's 150th game as coach. With Westy and Paddy Ryder out of the side, the club welcomed back Charlie Dixon and Ollie Wines from respective broken legs. Picked up, Ollie Wines, good off the boot, Ollie Wines, welcome back. Both had an impact and Scott Lysep was dominant with 41 hitouts and 24 touches as the power roared back into the top eight with a hard fought 11 point win. It was a miserable night all round in round 15 when the Western Bulldogs came to town. Lysett was good again with 43 hitouts and 9 tackles while Charlie was on song early and set the tone with his physicality. But in shocking conditions the Dogs proved too strong. Showdown 47 couldn't have come at a better time. In a physical encounter our boys flexed their muscles both in the contest and on the scoreboard. From 48, first glove to Port to Dixon who's still over the top. And Dixon's got it. Big Charlie was again proving a handful while Lysett got the boys going in the second half. On. He wants to equal Texas moment. Oh. Yes, oh. that oh. just happened. From there, we booted the last nine goals of the game to send the Crows fans home early and stroll to a famous showdown win. And the siren sounds. It was a classic Port Adelaide victory in the end. Mid-season rookie Cam Sutcliffe made his debut in round 17 encounter against Brisbane. The Lions made a fast start booting the first seven goals and that fairly well ended it. Riley Bonner got us on the scoreboard and Zach Butters provided another rare highlight in an otherwise forgettable game. Butters picked up where he left off with two goals in a minute in the first quarter against Richmond. The boy stayed in the hunt and some handy work from the busy Carl Amon before another youngster in Xavier Dersma tried to spark the side. But the Tigers had all the answers as we fell to consecutive losses for the first time since round 7 and 8.